Hi everyone. So today we are changing out our St. Patty's Day decor for spring because March is done. So let's get everything switched out. Look at all this pollen. I gotta come and clean this all off. So first I'm gonna take down all the green decor that we got going on. And we're gonna put it, we're gonna get them dust off first because they have a lot of dust on them. But we're gonna dust them off and they're gonna be stored in our storage bin here. So I have two of them that I keep all my porch decors in. I have quite a few more. I got them from Costco. But the others have like Christmas or other household needs in there. So I'm just gonna get the cushions switched out. The cushions are just, um, I keep the cushions, I just change the cover on them this one the cushion was a bit too big so I ended up doubling it up and I'm gonna wash them and then I'll store them up for next year or whenever I need another green You hear the birds? <laughs> that means spring is here. All the birdies are out. So I'm gonna do the same thing with the other ones. Get a table cleaned off and everything. And then we're gonna get the blue up. So I got everything cleaned up and the pillow switched out. Let's put in the blue here. And was a fresh flower market. <laughs> I think these are cute. I love these colors. So I put this one over here. And I'm just reusing the same pillows that I had last year. And I have these. How cute is this? Look at this. <gasps> Look. Oh, it's like a wreath of Easter eggs. Ha <laughs> ha. Super cute. So I'm going to get it hang up there, hung <laughs> up there. And this is just a little basket with eggs. A few little Easter eggs in here. Okay, so the only thing left to do is get rid of these planters. What am I going to get rid of? I'm going to relocate them. Because see, they're more orange and yellows. It looks good with the green decor for St. Patty's Day, but not so much the blue. So let me go ahead and get those switched out. Actually, before I do that, let me switch out the bench pillows. I forgot about these. Huh. Actually, I'm going to leave this one. And I'm going to switch the covers on these instead. It is stuffed in there. <laughs> there we go. So 
So I got this pillow. I pretty much put a cover on it on this pillow. I'm gonna use this one like this. And then we'll put this one up. And you remember when I planted the <laughs> where are they? They're like dried up, you guys. Look at that. Look right there. The um lobularias that was supposed to be spilling out my pots. Where are they? But I'll leave them there and I keep them watered and see how they do. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this in the front instead. So let's go ahead and grab them. Oh, they are heavy. These been the bugs on the bottom. Ah, no bugs. So this is going to be here instead of that i'm gonna put these in the front next to the yellow ones but i know this is heavier because <laughs> i remember i lifted it last time i wonder if they can go on the stands let me see if i can get get the planters and put them on it okay let's grab this one first oh there's super tunings everywhere and look we have a yellow one coming in it's yellow isn't that cute and, I'm, and I, I am still waiting on my yellow petunia to come. That's the new one for 2024. The saffron finch. I think we're supposed to be getting in mid-April. Look at the um, Persian shield. It's, it bounced back. I thought it died back. Well, it did die back. It's just bouncing back. So it's there. I need to get a good grip on this. Okay. The whole container is covered. <sighs> No bugs, no bugs. There's some random roots growing underneath it. I'm do the same thing to this one. So what I want to see is, does it look better on the ground or raised up? So let's have a look, see? Yeah, I think it looked better raised up. See, that one's raised up, that one's on the ground. And yeah, because eventually what's going to happen is all of these petunias here, they're going to go and join that one. So if it's raised, they won't merge together. And the contrast will be better because then we'll have the black mulch covering everything. And the legs won't be shown. I'm pretty sure the petunias are going to come all the way down. So you won't see the legs anymore. All right, so let's put it up on the stand. Which side is your good side? Well, I see a yellow one coming in here as well. That one has a yellow on it already. I saw it. So pretty. And the white lobular I have in here, that one got totally got eaten up by the petunias. Oh, let me turn it around. This one's for my yellow plant. I didn't get a yellow petunia yet. My super tunia saffron finch. Saffron finch. <laughs> so I'm waiting for that still. So it's gonna be a yellow and this yellow and orange coral color going on. Can't wait. And we have here this in the meantime the, in the front. Let me take a look, see, see how it looks. Oh wow, it's tilting backwards. <laughs> Let me move it to the front some more. And then the ground here is a lot firm. I shouldn't bring it the whole thing over for it.
We need to get some stronger planters, guys. This is heavy for it. Okay, I like it. And in the meantime, we have this purple. I think the purple complements the blue better. Now that I'm, and then my um my, my lobby laria wasn't showing, so I turned it to the back so I can get less sun. But um it's dry. So I think that's why it's dying. <laughs> so I need to water it. So yeah, the root was a bit dry, so that's why it looked a lot distressed. Let me show it to you. Very distressed. Look at it down in the bottom. And here are the other ones I purchased with it. So I need to get them in the ground. Here's the other one over here. And then once I get the, um, I'm also waiting for my latte, my super teeny latte. It's supposed to be coming soon. That's going to be added in there. So add some white, some lighter colors to break up the darkness and then the greens. So that's going to look cute in there. I wonder if I should put a lighter purple in there. Those verbenas are looking very tempting to go in there. <laughs> but I'm going to leave it for now and wait for my latte. But I am liking it, guys. And you can see the back side of the plant, right? It's a bit naked. So like I said, I'm gonna come in and I'm gonna put my saffron fringe as a yellow one in there. I like the elevation that it has. And like I said, they're gonna, I can tell they're gonna trail lower and they're gonna cover the ground up. And I'll just keep them trimmed to the, to the ground, but that's long enough for them to go down to the ground. I need to get taller planters, that's the problem. So another thing added to my garden is taller planters. Hmm, take a look right there. Are you guys seeing what I'm seeing? right there i think those bordeaux is only one bordeaux hmm will look cute in here <laughs> but it's only one listen if i see another bordeaux when i go get my mulch i'm gonna get it to put it in here yep <laughs> All right, thank you for spending a day with me and switching out my porch theme for my spring slash Easter porch <laughs> decoration. And if you want to see more details on how I do my, my themes each season, I'm going to add this to my playlist for porch decors. And you can take a look and watch the more detailed videos. This one wasn't as detailed as I normally do it because you guys seen it a lot of times before. But if it's the first time to my channel and you haven't seen these before, you can watch my playlist titled Porch Decors and you can see them. Um, take a look here. I'll take you guys over here. Look, these are all the verbenas. Look how amazing they look. I saw that in the store and I grabbed it. They go one and another one there. So I didn't have these two, so I just added because these are perennials, guys. I don't mind getting more to make it full because it's going to come back year after year. But I am loving it, loving it. It's so pretty. So it's a mixture of the verbenias and the super beanies. So some are from Proven Winners and some are from Lowe's or Home Depot. But I love them. And this right here is my gardenia. If you saw my last video on my Costco um, plants, of by shopping up Costco, whatever I was doing at Costco, I saw this and I had to grab it. This is the spot I think I'm gonna put it in. Who knows, I was initially thinking of putting it over there, but then I remembered you can't plant gardenias next to concrete foundation and stuff like that. So I'm gonna have to check to see if this is even far enough away from the concrete because they love acidic, acidic soil and they don't like to be next to concrete that does hinder their growth. So, I may have to put it even further back. I will see. I'll keep an eye on it. But until the next video, guys. Thanks for watching. Happy gardening. Bye.